And then, I don't know if we'll get there. Probably look at Timothy 19. Deuteronomy chapter 8. We will commence our study at verse 6. If you have to say that. Amen. Amen. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, fountains, Depths that spring out of valleys and hills, land of wheat and barley, vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron out of whose hills thou mayest dig bread. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Verse 11. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, lest, as in, unless, when thou hast eaten and art full, hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, all that thou hast, is multiplied. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fire as serpents and scorpions and dragons where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of a rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, that he might prove thee, to do thee good in the latter end, to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou shalt say in thy heart, my power and my might of mine hand hath gotten me this way. Yeah. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant to swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Now for those of you that say I'm reading all, you're right. And it shall be if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, walk after other gods and serve them, worship them, I testify against you this day, and ye shall surely perish. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Then in Timothy 2.19, you know it's an old, don't you? Nevertheless, Nevertheless. Nevertheless.